Hi guys, Andy, and welcome back to my Minecraft Survival Let's Play series, episode 2. Episode 1 hasn't even gone out yet, and I'm back here again recording. It's all edited, it's all sorted, um, it's just currently uploading it right as we speak, but I wanted to get a crack on and start episode 2. Really excited to get going in this world. I'm just doing a little bit of fishing here, just while I see if I can get any resources. I've got any Norse's shell. That's good. All the fish are there. Rod back and today, well, I have started clearing up up there, so we'll go back over there in a bit because I think we might start my start home, just the initial setup of it. But I think today, first things first, is I want to get a little bit of iron because I would like things like a bucket and things like that and some iron armor. Hi, how are you doing? So, my plan is. I think, now technically I could just drop down in this water and get down to the bottom. Uh, but I would like to get a bit more coal and what have you. And I don't know what mobs are down there straight away. So, I think it might work a little bit around there. See if we can work down a bit of that over there. Oh, hi. You noticed me. You back off. I think now I don't need the moth farm as much. So we can start lighting over here up a bit more. Go away, thank you. You two fight it out. Congratulations. There's your prize. A sword in the head. Ooh, boots. Feather falling with no durability. Well, let's see how long they last. I see what the feather falling for. Actually, I might keep them. They might come in handy if I want to go in the nether. Let's grab a bit more coal while it's here. So what I want from this caving trip is just some iron to make some armour. Things like a bucket and things like that. And you no, know, if possible, if I can find a geode, I can get my telescope. A dungeon would be nice if we can get a, a saddle. Now the question is, can I work my way down over here in a safe manner? I did just see a creeper there. I'm going to make sure he doesn't creep up and um, sort of take me out. Let's have a pop over here just to see what I can just see what it is over here. And there we go. <laughs> There's a creeper. Oh, he sneaked up in very quietly there. Let's get some of this lit up. A big giant lake here. Oops. I do know this goes quite the way around as well. Okay, I've lit up most of that cave, left some of the coal there, not cut it all, but I've managed to get a good stack of it. So, I'm just working my way through this cave now. Um been getting bits of coal as I go along. Getting bits of iron. I think it's 24 pieces for full suit of armour. Actually, a bit of redstone would be good as well, if I can get a bit of redstone. I've changed my world spawn point to some of my cave, so if I do die and my bed's been broken, I'm not going to go all the way back 10,000 blocks away. So don't basically fancy that track again. Not for a while anyway. I'm 28, so I'm not far off getting to the redstone level. I'm getting what I came for anyway. I've now got 34 iron. I've got enough for my armour. And that's deep slate down there. Get a bit of lapis here. I could probably do with stopping actually and melting up, melting, smelting the iron ore. And I'm probably of no surprise to you all, I'm completely lost now from where I am. I think I might be able to find my way out, but you never know. I can start making some of the armour up anyway, get some of this done, give you some extra protection. 
and get ourselves an iron pick. Start getting this gold. I must get the opportunity to get some of these. Get a grow berry. Right, we'll get some legs. And that is the last piece of footwear that I need. Right, we are all suited up. Iron pick as well. Bucket, we haven't got a bucket. Ooh, tuft. We got some tuft over down here as well. At least have a look at the new blocks. Oh, there's a diamond down there. Those I should go and get it. I'm not hunting for them. I'm not, they're not on my wish list today. But that is though redstone. Right, I'll leave that there. First time of the season. We'll keep that safe. That's the redstone we need for the compass. I can probably make a clock as well for our home. And maps. Would like maps. Right, I'm going to head back the way I came. Pick up any iron I see on the way. Get a bit more. How much tuft have I got? I've only got 14. So we'll grab some more tuft. And then... We'll make our way out of here. So I'll see you back at the starting entrance, unless something bad happens. Which with me, that's entirely possible. And I have just found those are diamonds. <laughs> we will leave them though, we'll come back and get these. Right, um, I was in the middle of recording and embarrassingly my computer completely crashed, so all my recording has gone. Just a recap though, um, we have to come back out of the cave. We have gone out exploring, we came across a shipwreck over there which got this treasure map in. I was heading to this shipwreck over here, a uh, collection of bits and bobs and goods, I got myself some spruce as well. That's about it basically, that's all we've, you've missed so far. Nothing majorly exciting but i was about to embark on this ship back here we've got in here again nothing too exciting the usual stuff uh, let's come and get the chest with the map which i'm going to have a guess it's very similar to that one no that's straight south and that's southeast oh interesting two separate maps and uh, we'll take all this stuff as well and the final chest Ooh, bamboo. We'll take a suspicious tree. I don't need other armour. I do get a habit of collecting all sorts of rubbish. I'm trying so hard not to do that now. Let's chuck all this stuff into here. Right, this is south and east. I'll save you for when I get a brush. I'm going to guess that individual piece of gravel still over there is where the chest is. It is. <laughs> oh, another diamond. Excellent. We've got the one diamond so far, which we got from the cave in, which is the only one we've got, which is our first diamond. And it's put away safely. But all these can be kept. So there's now this one, south and to the west. Let's go. There we go. Ooh, emeralds. There's six of them there, so I'll take the lot. And one will be my first emerald. Because technically I just found all at the same time. But as of yet still no village which is what i came out ideally looking for but as i am getting pretty full up anyway i don't spend too long out here there's a room portal there i don't muzzle have a look there might be some interesting treasure um i could think about slowly heading back um have i got anything to fill with here Think about heading back and maybe looking at another area. I've got my Feather Falling 4 boots which I want to keep and heal up I think. For when I do go to go to the nether. Well home is in theory that direction. I did make a compass and I set my will spawn to the entrance of my cave. 
So let's see if this leads home. I think another a trip over to the ocean purely on a, a treasure hunting basis will be needed, I think. My home is sort of that direction now. I did have to cross land to get here. But I'm just curious now where does this river go? Well, that is plains. Cherry tree. I might as well grab a sapling while we're here. And this is that acacia. Right, let's get to work and gather some resources. I could just get a couple of saplings. I don't think I need to chop trees down. Alright, two saplings across from the blossom off the floor. Because this can be bone milled. Just gonna get some acacia. And then we're done. Right, saplings acquired. I think what I will do, actually, I'm just gonna go look up that hill. See if we can spot a village. My boat is here. Not off, I can see it. If I can get a village, I can start working towards getting one of the maps to the trial chambers. And Savannah's have villages, as do plains. There's no sign of one. Gone a bit further and have a look. Right, I think I've got this big hill. Have a look on from there. If I can't see anything, we'll head back. Because I've got a chest, a boat full of goodies. Excuse me. Aha, village. Right, um Indicate to go ahead back that way. Hello, villager. Village. Do you have any carrots? Oh, beetroot, something like those. I don't want carrots either. We'll take those. I've got potatoes now. Thank you very much. How are you all doing? That's it, Emerald. I'll leave everything else behind. Not a very big village, but if I can come here and get a trader trading, I think it's a cartographer actually. Get him out of here, get some trading going. I can at least. Armadillo! Hello! Oh, what do I do with you? How do you give me your shell? Um, I have not got any. Is it she is? Hello? What to do with you? Yes, Savannah. You live in Savannah, don't you? Oh, I'm trying to get you back. Are they passive? Can we cast them as passive pets? What we talked about in the last episode? I think we can. But I think. We can make enough to this village coordinates. If you missed the first episode, that's the plan now. We record all coordinates of all interesting things we can find in a book. Hello chaps, uh, and then we can use this as our reference point throughout the series. Oh excellent, right, home. Now I've got a village, I found it, I can come into some trading. It wasn't a very big village, admittedly. So I think my boat is basically about this direction. And then I'll make my way back to the river to near home. But we'll get all the goods home, and then we'll turn our attention to and I'll do some building, so I'll be back with you in a minute. And we're all back home now and unpacked. So I'll put all my saplings now over here. Got spruce on with me. We're gonna go up there with those in a second. I did do this in between when I came out of the caving and going off boating, but that recording crashed. But these are the t new tough blocks, and that's it with the stone brick and the tough brick. I quite like those together. I think they look quite nicely. Nice little transition between the two. In fact, I may take some of the tuft up there with me, actually. What we'll do, we'll head up here now. Um, I'll get the bridges in at a later date. Let's just get going up here. Now, I was going to put my home up here, and that was the initial plan. However, when I was up here clearing out the trees, and sort of just levelling out the ground, there is a large amount of animals up here. There's pigs, sheep, and cows all about up here. So... I'm thinking instead of having this as my home, we turn this into a barn. Oh, it's chickens as well. Hello, Mrs. Chicken. And we'll get the farm animals up here, and then we can start putting some crops around this area as well, something like that. And then I will come over here 
and then we'll have like um, a bridge going across to sort of over there and then we'll put our home up there instead because then in theory we can connect our home up with our cave pot pathway between the two and do it that way so I think that will be the preferred option let's try and get the skeleton of a frame worked out One, two, let's have a gap of three in the middle uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Over there. And we've got four animals, farm animals. Pigs, sheep, chicken and cows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Kind of thinking now this will be enough space for animals storing all the crops. In fact, one, two, three. We'll just bring that in two. Just make that a bit smaller. That gap in the middle doesn't need to be that big. Oh, I can see a creeper. So there's four pens for each individual animal. One could be storage space and one could maybe be ladder up into the middle. So we'll have a, these like a roof on this side and raise it slightly higher. Have some more space upstairs and then put roof on that as well. So let's get the frame up and then we'll see what we're looking at after that. And in fact I will strip these as well. Right, the frame is up. I wonder if this is a bit low. This is one thing that I'm, I'm not sure about now whether... This needs to go another one one higher. I've put the bottom part of the wall in underneath, but I might have to raise all this up by one. We'll see. So what I've got, I've got the tuft bricks. Can you just move, please? Thank you. You can come in later on. Put them in as one layer there. And then I'm going to get some fences. Oh, night is falling. Put a layer of fences in here as well. That I'm not going to put fences there because of that. This isn't going to be like a an animal pen bit this is going to be storage or stairs going up so um, I haven't got any spruce yet off oh, put some, some maybe some spruce in there oh trees are grown excellent be using that for the walls and then let's come take a step back yeah that needs to be a bit higher I think all by one to put the frame in. oh I heard you you sneaky little thing Oh, I thought for a minute. Yeah. They're up by one. That'll just give me a bit extra gap as well. Just make it look a bit not as flat. So, I think it's all up by one, including all the outside of the thing. I'll put that on there just to work out some distance. Not sure on the height of that bit yet. I'll get that once I've done the bottom bit. And then in the roof here, let's come back around this way. I might as well get this to you now and then I can get it all done and then come back to you. I've got, it's a gentle slope here and obviously the little pitch. So this bit here, but then I'll probably put like darker strips along the side here and then spruce in the middle. Do that and I'll get it all the way up, probably put flooring down the middle bit as well. Get that all done and then we'll come look at the top bit after that. So I better start taking this all down. Yay. <laughs> I shall return shortly once this has all been raised and the roof is on. And there we go, everything has now been raised by one. Oh, you're in home already, very good. And we have also put the roof on up above. So we've now got that all done and in place. Right, so back onto the roof now. I'm going to come in now to put an extra log around like so. And then I'm going to come in fences down this side here and then gates in the middle that the same all around and then what I'm going to do is put a roof on here um, again same sort of shape as I've got here so um, let me just see if I can get up here or fall off and then do the same on this side 
and then trim all the way down like we've got over here so on these bits here there'll be dark oak as well spruce in the middle that'll get the roof up and then that is the basic structure of the farm it's just now going around adding the detail in and getting the animals in after that so i'm going to crack on and get that done and then we can get some animal, the animals in place and then going forward we can start getting some crops in to feed the animals and then we have got ourselves a food source so i'll cut over here crack on get finished up and i'll see you all shortly and hopefully it will all be done and here we go one completed barn it's a good starting point going forward we do need crops we do need other things as well to supplement the area but this is a good uh, place to start from and here we go our barn and added some additional deco around the edges put these sort of logs sticking out as well and a stone put in there to like a nail's been driven in or some sort of spike to, to secure it and added some trap doors and stairs as well to give it a bit more detail and depth onto it and got rid of all the torches inside and replaced them with lanterns and we've got animals we've got pigs we've got some chickens with some eggs let's see if we can get some more chickens no not as of yet no more chickens down to this side we have some cows and then we've got ourselves a couple of sheep i've not done anything with the grass and sheep pen because they need that to be grow their wool so there this is really plank for the moment as i get more wheat i'm gonna make some wheat bales and put them into here and then over here i've got a little bit of wheat and literally this is all i have left so i'm slowly breeding up the cows there we go and then one chick carrots i've got some carrots and potatoes down below so i'll get them up here and then I have some seeds to feed with chickens. But I think I'll get all my farm produce up here anyway, just so it's out of the way from down below. And I've cleared a few more trees around the area, but I think all I need to do now is clear more trees, work out the locations of the bridges going over so I can get pathways for those, and then start planning out some crop fields and getting some crops planted up here. So I can, and again, additional food source, and B, I can also feed all of my animals and start growing them. I have, I took out a log there to put a staircase ladder coming up here. I've got a bed up here at the moment and a workbench and nothing else. I might change this over, so on this side here, put a, a fence post, um, a log there and put the staircase there. Rather than that gap there, I think that might look better. But at the moment, that does the job. But yeah, we've now got a fuel source, which is really handy. And once I can work out, how did you even try to get out? Never mind. There's a few other animals around here, so that's fine. But yeah, once the bridge has worked out where we can go, we can get some clear some trees, get some pathways in, and then we can work from getting our cave down there, connected up to the top land there, and there we can start working out where our home's going to go, and start work on land over there. And that should all be good. In fact, I see you look running around there like that. Why should you be free? When others are stuck inside here, so come on. Are you interested? Do you want to come? Do you want to? Are you sure? Come on in. Come on into the fold. You can't have it because that's all in one piece. It's not worth wasting until I get some more. So there we go. One start of a food source is up and running, and we're making more slowly more progress around here. And expanding our base and our area around here but on that note i'm gonna wrap this episode up here guys thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed the video please leave a like because subscribing if you haven't done already ring the bell to notify our future content and i will see you all in the next episode bye bye